Okay, see Lindelof videos. Solving multi-step equations is the thing I want to go over with your a TI Inspire CAS calculator today. Um, the CXs and the CASs are a little bit different and they have different functionality. The one I'm using tonight is the CAS, so something to think about. We're gonna, just going to do maybe five or six examples of common types of multi-step equations and I want to show you some common mistakes and just some things to note. So we're going to start off by using this solve function. So check it out, SOL. So, so far I have SOLV. And you can see that the writing is in italics. And I just want you to know with this calculator, it has this kind of cool function that when the calculator recognizes something as a function, it takes the italics and it changes the italics from italics to standard print. So I know that I've typed this word incorrectly. So I'm just going to do, like maybe the easiest example I could do. So six is e oh, sorry is equal to uh, negative 3 times the quantity x plus 2 x plus 2 so here's a common mistake people don't close the parentheses here so make sure that you close these parentheses because if you right if you don't close the parentheses right so if you put in here comma x the, it's going to really confuse the calculator because you have to speak in very, very specific language to the calculator. So you get a syntax here, you're like, what the heck is going on here? Well, what's going on is that you haven't worded this correctly for your calculus. So let's make sure we do this. So when you have a quantity here, see, now we have equal sets of parentheses. We have the outside parentheses and we have a set of inside parentheses, right? Now I can put in comma, right? Comma, which means in terms of, and make sure, next mistake that people make, is we have the very, our variable is x in this case so make sure you put x not n not q not p etc i know it sounds ridiculous but that's a mistake that people make so there's our answer let's just go ahead and do another problem that uh oh, let's do this one i got one so solve i checked to make sure that my uh, print went from italics to standard right and now i have this one i have I want to use a fraction here. So when you have a fraction, on other calculators you open up parentheses, right? You open up parentheses and you'll put in negative five, um, yeah, sure, plus x. You have to go through all these gyrations. I suggest that you don't do that with this calculator. If you're going to use a fraction, set that fraction up. So to set a fraction up, you just use control and then use the division sign. And it, see, it gives you the solidus right here and it makes things a lot easier. I'm going to do the same problem that we just describe negative 5 plus x right so when I go want to go down to the when I want to go down to the denominator I can use this key right here and just go down to here make sure you're doing that um, and it's 22 right next big mistake is that P, so I want to make it equal to negative 1 so people are equals negative 1 well you can see now that that can't be true right like that's you have your equal sign um, in the opposite side of your equation in the wrong place. So be careful. And to get out of there, just go over to your right cursor, hit your right cursor, and you'll see the cursor come out from the fraction, and it indicates to you that you've done the right thing. So just a quick way not to make, whoa, is equal, well, is equal to, can you tell it's been a long day, negative one. Again, our variable is, you know what, let's change the variable, I'll show you. Let's just change the variable really quickly. So I change the variable, put, I'm going to make the variable in. So there's my variables in. So I'm outside of the problem, right? I'm outside of my problem, comma, not x, but in. This is so common, I can't uh, stress this enough, that this is a mistake that a lot of people make. So let's just avoid this mistake. And hit enter. There's our answers. We're at four minutes right now, so I guess I'll do maybe one more problem, and I'll do it this way, where we have variables on both sides of the equation. This is going to be super easy. I'm going to take 3x plus 5 is equal, plus 5 is equal to, is equal to x plus 15, so sorry, x plus 15 right all of our variables match we have our variable on the left hand side is x our variable on the right hand side is also x so all I need is a comma in terms of x hit enter right so I know that uh, first I know a lot of people actually watch this video the second thing that I know is I'm gonna get people in this and they'll say is there a way to to get the calculator to show you the steps that it went through so 
Don't even ask the question, I'm sorry, the calculator will not show you the steps. But what other calculator can do it in a way that says, and you could, you could use uh, trigonometric functions in here. It doesn't matter how you do this, it's just that you use the proper methods. So we talked about making sure that if, you're, if you had a set of parentheses, that you put your in terms of outside those parentheses. We talked about the fact when you were setting up fractions that would you, you would use the control division sign to get this. We talked about the fact that when you were done you'd use the right cursor to get yourself out of that fraction so you didn't end up with the equal sign in the denominator. right? And we also talked about the fact that we would make sure that all of our variables match. Those are the mistakes that people make. We can definitely avoid them. Thanks for watching the video. If you have questions or comments let me know. And hey if you haven't already subscribed please Appreciate it.